Oh my gosh, really? That wasn't high enough? a text. Alright, this is the run, guys. Hey, Dark Souls veteran. I'm doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. Hope you are doing well, too. How are you doing that so fast? A lot of practice. Like these dash, these dashes. If you uh, if you jump right after a dash, you cancel the dash cooldown, so you can dash faster. I can go into this guy, right? Yeah. Okay. Phew. Where the F is repacking the drawings? I clean stuff up a little bit. Oh my gosh. Ugh. So annoying. Let's go like this. Alright, we lost time. We had to wait for a second shot from those uh, little mushroom guys. Yeah, we lost like four seconds to that. Because normally you can get a 38 or even a 37 if you just get a good angle on the first shot from those mushrooms. I should have just taken a hit there. Oh, the menu part? Ah, just mashing a lot. <laughs> what does chaser percent mean? It means that the only weapon that we're allowed to use for the entirety of the run is chaser. AKA the, the weakest gun in the game. Strongest and best weapon. Yeah, that must be what I mean. My mistake. So I have a 27 second time loss due to a death on Phantom. So if we just get this, get the same run going without the death, we'll be really close to sub 40. Yeah, you need to P-rank them because you can't shoot any... You can't shoot any bullets because I don't have Chaser yet. All I have is P-shooter and you're not allowed to use P-shooter in this category, so you, you have no choice but to P-rank the running guns. Am I running Cuphead every day? Uh, no. I'm running Cuphead more often now because I was running Pokemon Go every day, but the servers are down due to cheaters. So I'm back to Cuphead. I used to just run... I mean, I've been running Cuphead like once a week. But I'm going to be playing it more frequently until Pokemon Go comes back up. Running Pokemon Go... Uh, maybe running's not the, the right word, but uh, they have a competitive PvP battling system that I've been into. Right? Okay. Cuphead is cooler. Yeah, but you gotta broaden your horizons every now and then. At one point, fairly recently, I was ranked globally uh, 21st in Pokemon Go, Go Battle League. I'm not not even in the top 500 anymore though, because it's rough. It's very strategic.
No. No, it's not like speedrunning it. I have a ton of Mewtwo's though. When the DLC comes out, are you runners going to be going nuts? Yeah, absolutely. Very excited for that to be coming up. Okay. Uh, should be good to get a uh, one cycle second phase. I think this is good anyway. Yeah, yeah, we're good. I probably shot one extra EX there that I didn't need to shoot. But that's okay. I should go for the frame perfect pause, I always forget to. Two days after it comes out, Jason's gonna know all the strats. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be inventing all the strats. That's the goal. Good. That was a good uh, Ruby and Kirks. I like a 150. Yeah. That was good. If you get better RNG in the first phase, you can get a 149. Maybe even a 148. Maybe if you get like five flies and then use the appropriate amount of cards, it might be a 148. Hey, RH Bow. Why the sad face? I shouldn't have dashed. That's okay. You go with food poisoning your first time having it? That's a bummer. Yeah, food poisoning's rough. I got food poisoning from Burger King once and I didn't I couldn't eat Burger King for years. Burger King's bad anyway. They're not bad. Alright, should be one more EX. Ooh, what? That was surprising, but that didn't kill. Everything tastes like cardboard there. Disagree. But I respect your opinion. Burger King makes pretty good burgers. Although I like Wendy's burgers better than Burger King. At the time though, I worked like right next to a Burger King, so Burger King was the most convenient option. from Taco Bell. Oh man, what a bummer. I'd hate to ruin Taco Bell. Taco Bell is so good. I used to work at a Taco Bell, and let me tell you, they use like the worst quality meat, but it tastes so good. Yeah, I worked at a KFC Taco Bell, actually. In my youth. But like in like the packages that the meat comes in, like the beef, it doesn't. it's not even labeled beef, it's just like labeled meat. Because I don't think it's actual beef. Dang it. Okay. That's okay. Eh, that's good enough. 
It doesn't matter they're Dark Souls. I work there and I still think it's delicious. It still tastes so good. Alright, that was a, a pretty solid kill, though. What was that? Was that like a 103? Maybe a 102? Yeah, it was a 102. Okay. I lost time <laughs> with a 102. Good for me. Huh. You don't have Wendy's or Taco Bell in Germany? Uh. Ah, so you speak German, Dark Souls? Dark Souls veteran? I would like to visit Germany someday. German is poor. Oh, okay. What are you doing in Germany then? Oh, you're not from Germany. Are you playing Cuphead like today? I don't know until my uh, other kid wakes up from his nap. So probably like another hour or so, maybe an hour and a half. Can you explain Chaser EX? Yes. So the first EX you use creates a shield around you, but the shield doesn't really block anything. It just makes it so that the bullets hit enemies that get close, but it doesn't actually like block damage or projectiles or anything. And then the second EX you shoot creates another shield, but makes your first shield shoot at the enemy so basically like between boss transitions like whenever you're they're in a phase where you're otherwise unable to hurt them it's better to just use an ex during that time period if you don't have a shield to give you a shield because it saves you time using an ex later because your next ex will shoot the shield your parents wanted to move there five years ago and you're uh, you're like 11 oh okay Alright, that's not bad. A pretty fast kill. Alright, we're hoping for the cupcake. The cupcake would be a fast one. Yes, okay. This is good. X is kind of disappointing. Yeah, yeah, it is for sure. Which boss is the hardest for you? In this category, definitely Phantom Express. In general, um, hard to say. I guess it depends on the on the category. Rumor Honey Bottoms is one that's always pretty annoying. It's pretty hard in this category too. It's just not as hard as Phantom. Okay, 
that's fine. That's fine. Uh oh. Good. Uh, could be better. Not the worst, though. Should be able to get an EX before this closes in, or a, a nuke, I mean. Okay. Nice time save. What was that time? Like 59, one minute? Oh, 101. Okay, that was kind of slow. That could have been like four seconds faster if I got better RNG and played a little better. I wonder if going for that nuke on the baby bird phase is worth it. I feel like it still is, but you end up with not that many EXs for final phase, and EXs are really valuable in final phase there. But I'm not sure. I'll have to revisit that in practice. Alright, this is a really hard fight. We gotta hope for a lot of parries in the first phase, and we have to hope for a good RNG in the final phase. Okay. I also want to dash as little as possible. Okay, good. Also, interesting thing about Chaser, if like something's hitbox appears after the chaser's already on screen, it won't home in on it. It only starts to home, like, y y the hitbox has to be present before you shoot the bullet for the, the bullet to home in on it. Which is a weird property that I, I didn't notice until grinding this category. Okay. Cool, we got the glitched out background. We lost a few seconds there, but that's okay. How long do you think the DLC will be? Uh, probably about the length of another Isle 3. Maybe a little bit more than that. Maybe like a larger Isle 3. Maybe like 10 bosses or so. Maybe two or three run guns. Now we get coins, and then we buy whetstone. Whetstone's really where the game changes. Where we start having very intense fights. When does the DLC come out? Sometime this year, as of the last announcement, which is like a year and a half ago. So hopefully it's still on track. Oops, okay. Menuing was a little bad there, but that's okay. I keep think I keep hoping that I'm gonna wake up one day and they'll just surprise release the DLC. Oh, come on, that's okay. Good enough. Okay. 
What is that, the parry thing? It's it's a charm called Whetstone. Basically turns your parry into an axe attack. Okay, should be good. Okay. Uh, it's probably not worth it to go for a second nuke there. Just thinking about that. That probably wasted me more time because I had to go wait and get that parry. When I could have just been using whetstone. Yeah, I think I think going no parries on that fight's probably better. Not bad, not bad. Okay, that was a good time save. Okay, up next is the first of two very difficult bosses in this category. So good luck me. Pretty sure if you play this fight perfectly, you can get a time of like 48 or 49. Most I've gotten is a 50, but it's so difficult. And a little RNG dependent. Actually, a lot of RNG. Okay. Yeah, I forget it. I was gonna go for a, uh, I was gonna go for a left side kill, but then I took that damage, which just makes it really, really risky. Oh my gosh, it's super bad. Alright, we're in the green. If I have more HP there, I play it super dangerously and try to whetstone that phase too. But that's really hard to do. They want to release Switch Physical and DLC at the same time, so maybe DLC would be free with the physical copy. That would be nice, Dark Souls Veteran. It would be nice if the DLC was just free in general, like what they did with Celeste. Not like, not, not like that's the same company, but just what, what that company did with Celeste. 
But if they charge for it, it's probably only going to be like 5 or $10 anyway. And if they charge for it, I guess I'll feel better about them providing a substantial amount of content. Oh, man. be about dead, right? Good. Good time save. Uh, anytime, RH bow. That's the run. Yeah, I hope so. I was a frame away from getting hit by uh, one of those projectiles before I activated my last nuke. In fact, like if you're a frame away from getting hit and you activate a nuke, and then you like I think the nuke frame, the nuke activation takes a frame for it to like, like it, it takes more than a frame, but but I think it takes like a frame in real time before it pauses the screen. And if you clip into a projectile during that time period, the projectile just goes through you, which is what happened there with that projectile. That's how I knew how close it was. This is not great. Taking damage in the first phase is not good. Oh, I should not have used an EX there. I need to save my EXs for final phase. Uh-oh. Good. Top of the screen kill. We need to hope for a big wave. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. Lost a little bit of time because I had to play cautiously in that final phase, but we're still good. Will the new character be able to double jump? Yeah, I mean they show they show Miss Chalice double jumping in the trailer for the DLC, the original trailer, like right at the very end, so it seems likely. But if that's the case, I'm not sure how she's gonna be able to parry, unless you have to double jump and then parry. So parry would be like three quick jump presses. I'm not sure how they're gonna incorporate that. Or maybe they'll make double jump into a charm. I'm not sure. We'll see. This is a, a very difficult fight as well. Okay. Do you think double jump will help in speedruns? Uh, probably not substantially. Okay, that was a good time save too. Alright, we're in pretty good shape right now.
Because it seemed like the double jump height was about the same as like a regular jump, like a max jump height from, from Cuphead or Mugman, so I think it's just to give you a little more versatility in your jumping. Maybe it goes a little higher? I don't know. I, I don't see there being any real scenarios unless there isn't like a, a future run and gun where you really need an extra bit of height. Alright, let's get a lot of parries. We can save time here if we get good RNG. We need, we need the gun attack frequently. There'll be more stuff to buy though. Yeah, but we don't know if the stuff that they're going to sell is going to be helpful for speedruns. Like, for instance, whetstone's very, very useful, but it's also something that's so expensive that by the time you do enough running guns, it's not worth it in most cases. Oh, man. Okay. This is really bad RNG, because I'm getting so many of the uh, summons, which are normally really good. In other runs. Ugh, he just phase transitioned. Alright, still saved a little bit of time. It's not bad. Also, we could save a decent chunk on Calamaria if we get good RNG and play it well. Cal is one of those fights, though, to play well, you need to be really aggressive. So we'll see. Rumor and Briny are the worst bosses in Isle 3. <laughs> Briny is a pretty terrible boss. Okay, Den Den. Welcome back. Alright, Cal, I need, need to play aggressively, and Phantom, I need to play aggressively and not die. Are you already here? <laughs> that's, how this, that's how this category goes, man. Because of Whetstone. <sighs> okay, this is good. Good. Good enough. Okay. Good. Good time save. <sighs> okay. It's probably like a 40... 43. Yeah. That was good. Okay, this is the the really hard fight. Mostly because of first phase. I need to play first phase really well. Because I have a big time save here if I don't mess up. Oh my gosh. Uh, Alright, we'll play cautiously now. Okay. That's good enough. We can still get a sub 40 on this. Another cycle. This is bad. This is bad. Okay. Really bad. Bad RNG.
okay. Uh, I'm not gonna get a one cycle. You have a YouTube channel? Yeah, Jason2090. Same name. Okay, we have a chance, guys. We have a chance at the sub-40. That was a very slow phantom fight, though. Never seen anyone kill those guys at the same time. It's fairly common in speedrunning, actually. Like, for for the speedrunning strats, you usually want to try to kill them as close as possible. Except on Legacy, I guess it doesn't really matter, because you kill them both so fast anyway. Oh man, this is going to be really tricky. Because we only have like three seconds of wiggle room over our uh, PB in order to get the sub-40. <laughs> oh man. We get one heart. That's good. One heart's good. I mean, two would be better, but... One is fine. Good chips fight. I should probably just damage boost there. I don't know why I didn't. Yeah, it would make more sense for me to damage boost there and just get more whetstone hits on this guy. I could probably save, like, another two or three seconds on that fight. Because I don't need all these hearts. They give you way too many hearts. Of course, it's the worst mini-boss in the entire King Dice fight. Uh, Monkey. Monkey's worse, for sure. By the sheer length of time it takes. Alright, should kill him before the third projectile comes out. Right here? Yep, okay. This should be a time save, actually. This is a really good King Dice fight so far. Preemptively shoot one of these. Small time save. We'll take it. Yeah, I definitely need to uh, damage boost on on the horse in the future. I could probably save another two or three seconds on top of that. What was my Phantom Express time? I think I got like a 149 Phantom Express. It's such a big time loss. Oh, of course. If 
This is a really big time loss, by the way. Luckily, it didn't last that long. bad because it's not good whetstone opportunity there. Okay. Good. I need the parries. Give me another parry. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Yes! Okay. We got the sub 40. <laughs> 3958. Okay, we're done with Chaser, guys. <sighs> okay. Jeez. Alright. <laughs> oh, man. It's like exactly 27 seconds faster than my old PB, and my old PB lost 27 seconds to Phantom. So it's pretty much what my run would have been last time if I didn't die on Phantom. Yeah, this is a new world record. And I think I'm finally done with Chaser Percent. <laughs>